Well, Singapore's Olympic champion Joseph Schooling has announced his retirement from competitive swimming. It calls time on a glorious career that saw him break an Olympic record, beat the legendary Michael Phelps, and earn podium finishes at all major games. Yeah, in a special sit-down interview with CNA's Ali Thamsha, the 28-year-old says he's turning his focus to growing his swim school and help develop the next generation of champions in the pool. It comes a time where everyone has to flip the page, turn a new chapter, and this is my time to do that. This is my official retirement. With those words, Singapore's beloved sporting son bids farewell to an illustrious swimming career. A whirlwind journey that took him to Olympic glory and placed Singapore on the world sporting map. We have been planning this. It has been in the back of my mind for quite some time. But I was ready to do something else. I didn't get the excitement that I had waking up at four years old. I was still grinding through the possibilities of making it to Paris. I'd always told myself that I'd finish uh, when I was 29. I believe that this change is for the better. And my time just came a bit earlier than expected. And having to change that identity, um, change that perception, change the routine, it is pretty taxing. Um, it is pretty scary. But at the same time, as athletes, I think it's important not to put your entire identity around your sport. And that's when you start honing in other skills. And when one chapter closes, another chapter opens, right, Joe? Absolutely. So what future plans do you have now that you're putting the competitive days behind? First things first on the business side, right? Finance and sports. I'm getting to the VC space on the swim school, try to grow my swim school as much as possible, teach kids to be water safe. But I want to give back to the sporting society. I don't want to be, I don't want to vanish. I think there's a lot that I can offer and there are a lot of hurdles that I've had to overcome along with my parents and team, which I can impart on the younger athletes. The whole goal is to make sure that they can go further than the previous generation. And if time is of essence, if they can understand this knowledge earlier, quicker, why not? And even as he steps into new beginnings, Schooling says he'll look back at his historic 2016 triumph in Rio de Janeiro fondly, just like it was yesterday. During the medal ceremony, I was having a good time with Michael and taking pictures, making a walk around. And he asked, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, dude, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to go sleep. I'm, I'm beat, man, I'm tired. He's like, he looked at me and smiled and he's like, nah, you're not going to sleep. He was right. I didn't sleep that night. After the Olympics, we can see the effect sports has on bringing a nation together, all the celebrations, the mood. Um, like the mood people are in. I didn't expect that personally. That was a huge eye-opener. But I hope that shows everyone how big winning at that stage can do for our country. But I do believe that we have a lot more room to grow. So let's use that as a springboard to get to where we want to be. And for the man who loves being first, he hopes his successes will leave a lasting impact on future generations. I still am competitive. You can't, you can't put that behind. You just got to channel that competitiveness into a different, different realm, a different space. Someone said to me, um, people are going to remember you not for your achievements, not for your accomplishments, but how you made them feel. And while your achievements will give you that platform to inspire change and to affect others, I do believe the legacy I'd like to leave is you can achieve anything you can if you set your mind to it. Don't, don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do it. And let's take a look at now at some of schooling's career highs over the past decade, including becoming Singapore's first and so far only Olympic gold medalist. 12 August 2016, the pinnacle of Singapore's sporting history. The nation watched with bated breath as Joseph Schooling, then only 21, went up against the world's best in Rio de Janeiro in the 100-meter butterfly event. 50.39 seconds later, he had smashed the Olympic record and became Singapore's first Olympic gold medalist. And he did so in style, leaving three of the world's best swimmers at the time settling for joint silver, including childhood idol Michael Phelps. Back home, Schooling's victory enthralled the nation. 
Singapore's favourite sporting son received a triumphant homecoming as scores of fans gathered at Changi Airport before dawn. Thousands to line the streets when he went on a victory parade on an open-top bus a few days later. He was mobbed everywhere he went, from malls to his alma mater ACS Junior and his neighbourhood Marine Terrace Market. He was also formally honoured in Parliament. At the 2018 Asian Games, he brought home yet another two goals, adding to his breakthrough win at the previous edition in Incheon. He also became the first Singaporean to land on the podium at the World Championships, winning bronze in both 2015 and 2017, as well as clinching the country's first swimming medal at the Commonwealth Games, taking silver in 2014. At the SEA Games, he's bagged more than 30 medals, mostly golds. That includes five straight wins in the 100-meter butterfly, a streak stretching from 2013 to 2021. With such a career, some may argue that perhaps for Singapore, there may never be another Joseph Schooling. But the champ himself is making sure young swimmers can continue to dream.